What an atmosphere here in Montreal. And remember, thanks to COVID, it was a two-year wait for this city to host the draft. But finally, we're here. The nervous energy is palpable. The experience so far has uh, been extraordinary. Obviously, a long three years, having everybody in the room since Vancouver there, getting everyone together in the room as a family, is, it's been special. It's been special because it's my first year too. So I think everybody's really excited to go here tonight and tomorrow, and everybody's put in great work leading up to this moment. And uh, we're going to have fun with it and execute. Toronto. Vancouver. Yeah. We've been meeting now for weeks as a player personnel department and staff led by Wes Clark and Dave Morrison, preparing your final list and kind of charting out and forecasting the way that we think it's going to go in different scenarios that may come up on draft day so we're prepared as things come our way. And at this time, you're getting a number of trade offers for the pick and you're trying to measure those against what you know about the order and, and the way that things are trending for certain players. You never really want to trade out of your pick without knowing that you're going to find somebody you really like shortly thereafter. So it's just trying to gather all the information we can at this point and then be ready for, uh, for tonight and tomorrow. Ultimately, our job is to build a list, finalize a list, and present recommendations to Kyle. His job is to pivot if necessary. If there's an opportunity to get better, that's his job. Our job is to pick the best player. I don't have the pick anymore. No, it's on. It's in the, it's in the wind. So, okay, talk to you. We have a trade to announce. We're not oh, going to hear hey. from the Maple Leafs until tomorrow unless something changes with the last five picks because they moved their only first round pick, number 25, to Chicago for the 38th pick. But again, it's moving that salary of Peter Morazic. We know day one is all about the glitz and glamour. Day two, rounds two through seven, this is where you build a team for years to come. Good morning, Montreal. Welcome to day two of the 2022 NHL Draft. Next up, Toronto. Fraser Minton is compared to a William Carlson style of player. He's a safe two-way left shot center at 6'1", 185. Excellent skater. Moves the puck extremely well. Plays in all situations for the Blazers, whether it's power play, penalty kill. Scored 20 goals in 67 games and in 16 points through 17 playoff games as well. So the big times of the year, he stepped up. A good, solid pick for the Toronto Leafs. Walking down here from the table, I was just looking at the logo. It's um, I don't know, it doesn't feel real right now. I'm sure it'll sink in and I'll appreciate it a bit more maybe later, but right now it's just I'm pretty speechless, honestly. You ever been to Trump? Yeah, lots of times. Smiling or no? It's a happy day, man. This is probably the highlight of my life so far. Everything from now on will be super exciting and playing for the Leafs one day would be, would be amazing. I know that he was excited about Toronto. A lot of people here in the organization that he admires. And so, just uh, speechless, really. It's hard to believe it's happened. Uh, you know, there was rumors for a while and it's hard to know if it was actually gonna come true, but here we are. During commercial break, we did have a trade. Toronto was supposed to pick at 79. They swapped picks, traded back with Vegas. In exchange for that 79 pick, they got 95 and 135. At 95, Nicholas Moldenhauer, Toronto. Yeah, he's got to be thrilled. I mean, it's a Toronto kid that ended up going to play in the USHO with a really good program with the Chicago Steel. This is a kid, he's a smart, adaptable player. He dealt with a really nasty cut to the face where he needed 175 stitches to close the wound. He missed 21 days, he came back, scored a goal in his first game back. So uh, Nick Moldenhauer, wish him nothing but the best at going to play for his hometown team. Proud of you, bro. Proud of you, too. Oh, yeah. Bro. Good dude, dude. You look good in orange. Yeah. Cool to see all my buddies get drafted. <laughs> little rivalry? Yeah. Oh, boy. Had a boy. Enjoy yeah. it. Yeah. You too. Thanks to you, too. I've lived in Toronto my whole life, so I've been a Leafs fan growing up. So just a pretty super special moment to be picked by my hometown team, so I'm super excited. Thanks. Thanks.
I'm up next. Oh, nice. Hello. Big smile. There you go. And uh, who's here celebrating with you? Um, a lot of my family, so it's it's super special to be able to spend spend this moment with all of them, and um, I'm, I'm happy they could all be here with me to, to share it, so uh, I'm super happy. We're from Toronto, so Toronto family, lots of us here. Everyone, of course, was hoping, but you never know. There's so many kids and there's so many teams, and we were just so excited because he, he just always wanted to play for his home team. And, Getting uh, really emotional uh, here. Nicholas, <laughs> you wear that well, brother. Thanks. You look great. Thank you. So the crazy part is, is that his brother, all morning, had been driving me crazy. He's going to the Leafs, he's going to the Leafs, he's going to the Leafs. He's dead, he's going to the Leafs, I'm wearing my blue suit. So he has a little good luck charm, I think, on the side. It seemed pretty surreal when it happened. I'll do is making that pick right there, and it's Dennis Hill to be. In the end, we want to make sure that we're picking the player that when we look back on the draft, five, ten years from now, we unequivocally say with our pick, we took the best player available regardless of whether they made the NHL in 23, 24, or 27. Happy to add the players that we did and now really chance to get to work with them and with our development staff starting with our development camp. Appreciate you guys. Yeah, yeah. Congrats to both you all. Yeah, thank, thank you. you. Cool. Same, man. You're from Ontario too, right? From Toronto.